everybody. I miss you. So today I'm going to read you guys this book called Knuffle Bunny. And the author is Mo Williams. And the author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho the Dario. The author writes the words. He wrote all of the words. And he's also the illustrator, which means he drew all of the pictures. And if you have read any of the pigeon books or elephant and piggy books, which I don't know if we've read any of those of the pigeon books this year, but if you have, then you have read books by the author and illustrator Mo Williams. So this book is called, the title is Knuffle Bunny. And if you look at the cover, I see looks like a little baby, a little girl with a bunny so maybe this is knuffle bunny maybe and i see some really tall legs so she must be pretty tiny or this man is a giant we'll find out we'll have to see this is the spine of my book just like the spine in your back helps you stand up straight the spine in my book helps my book stand up straight and on the back cover i see it looks like the mommy and a daddy holding the baby so they must not be giants. She must just be small. So let's read this book here. If you look here, you can see some pictures. Looks like a couple getting married, a baby in a hospital, and then what's the last one? them holding the baby outside and there's a picture of the baby holding the bunny so we are going to get rid of that part we are going to read this book this is the title page is the title on there knuffle bunny so let's get started let's see what this book is about not so long ago before she could even speak words Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. She went to go do something with her daddy. I don't know why it's so shiny today. <laughs> she went to go. So there she is, walking outside. Looks like mommy's saying goodbye to them. And she's walking out with her daddy. Where do you think they're going? What do you think they're going to go do? What clues do you see on this page that tell you what they're going to go do today? Huh? I see a laundry basket. Let's see. I wonder what they're going to do. Trixie and her daddy went down the block. They walked down the street together. Through the park. Past the school. Trixie's pretty little. I wonder if she goes to school yet. And into the laundromat. Did you guess the laundromat? Did you guess they were going to go do some laundry? If you did, you were right. They're going to the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Does she look like she's being very helpful there? <laughs> she looks like she's having a lot of fun. Her daddy's putting the laundry in the machine. Look who's in the laundry basket. You see it? Oh, let me see. Ah, the bunny. She even got to put the money into the machine. Look, she's she's being helpful right now, isn't she? Then they left. Uh-oh, look a little closer at these pictures. What do you see? They left something behind. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. What do you think Trixie realized? What did she realize? <gasps> Trixie turned to her daddy and she said, <gasps> Well, that's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. So he doesn't understand her, right? She's trying to communicate. She's trying to talk to her daddy, but she's just a baby, right? Babies. They don't speak words right away, right? So she is trying to talk to her daddy. But does he understand what she's saying? Is she trying to say, oh yeah, we're going home? 
I don't think so. She looks pretty sad right there. I don't think he understood her. Let's see. <laughs> she said. Blabble, blabble, wobbly, flabby. Slap. Oh, no. She's pointing. She's trying so hard. She's using her hands, trying to communicate with her hands. She's waving them up and down. She's pointing, and now she's crying. Because even though babies can't use words, they use lots of different ways to communicate, don't they? If you have little brothers and sisters, you probably know that they can be loud, right? And they can show you when they're angry, even though they can't talk. So that's what Trixie's doing right now. She's trying to tell her daddy something. But do you think he understands her? Let's see. Now, please don't get bossy, said her daddy. We'll be home. What'd you say? Oh, well, she had no choice. That's what she said. Trixie bald. <gasps> what? She went boneless. Oh, she pretended she had no bones. She fell to the ground. So, if you have little brothers and sisters, you've probably seen them do this before, right? This is when a baby communicates that they are very, very upset. Why do you think Trixie is so upset? What happened? She was so happy at the laundromat. Something happened. How do you think her daddy's feeling right now? Huh? His face doesn't look very happy, does he? Can you see it? Yeah. Let's see. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. <laughs> look at her. Flapping all over the place. She is showing him that she is not okay. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy, too. Let's look at his face. He is not happy either. He, she is trying so hard to communicate, but he just does not understand her. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Knuckle Bunny? <gasps> Uh-oh, what did she realize? She realized that they left Knuckle Bunny. So, Daddy didn't know. But mommy noticed and Trixie noticed. How do you think Trixie feels now? Look at that face. <laughs> she is not too pleased with her daddy right now. She's not too happy about that. But daddy noticed. What do you think he's going to do now? The whole family ran down the block. There they are running down the street or yeah, on the sidewalk. And they ran through the park. So they're going through their steps again. They're retracing their steps. They zoomed past the school. There they are, running past the school. And into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuckle Bunny. And he looked. And looked. And looked. So there he is. He's looking everywhere. He is determined to find this bunny. Do you think he's going to find it? He's digging in the laundry machines. Let's see. But Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. How do you think Trixie feels now? She's been feeling a lot of different emotions, right? First, when she was at the laundromat, she was pretty happy, right? She has a big smile on her face. Then, when she realized that she was missing her bunny, she got really, really upset. Would you be really upset too? Now how does she feel now that they can't find him? She looks pretty upset. Let's see. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. He saw how sad she was over here. He th saw that she was so, so sad and she was about to cry. And so he said, I'm gonna keep looking. And he looked through the machines again. He rolled his sleeves up and he decided he was gonna look harder. <gasps> and he found Knuffle Bunny. Look at Trixie, she is so happy. She is jumping up and down and look what is she saying? She is saying, Knuffle Bunny! <gasps> she can talk now! But she can say one word. 
she learned a new word. So she'll probably be talking soon in no time. And those were Trixie's first words ever said. How do you think she feels now that she's found her bunny? I see a big smile on her face. Yeah, she looks pretty happy, huh? So how, have you ever lost a toy before? I actually know a lot of my friends have brought some toys to school and sometimes they lose them there. I how do you feel when that happens? I know that if I lose something, I can feel pretty sad. It makes me sad, but I try and try and try and look for it. And sometimes I can find it. So sometimes you just gotta look really, really hard. Sometimes you can find the things that you're missing. It was very kind of Trixie's daddy to keep looking, wasn't it? Even though he couldn't find it at first, he did not give up, did he? He kept trying, just like the quiet cricket kept trying to make noise. Trixie kept trying to make to noise too, kind of like the quiet cricket, right? And her daddy didn't give up either. He kept trying to find her, but her buddy for her. So that was very kind. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope to see you soon.